everybody. I'm Max Ada, head coach of Team Juggernaut. Here to show you a couple more tips on cleaning. We're gonna go through a few basic drills with Meg of Meg Squats and Kristen. So drill number one, we're gonna grab the bar. We're gonna work on the explosion and the clean. Just like in the snatch when the bar makes contact with your hip, it's the same thing, the same principle is happening here. We're just gonna make contact with the bottom of our thigh. So move your hands in a little bit. When you grab your grip, you wanna make sure you know where to grab the bar so that it sits on your shoulders properly. So from here, put the bar up on your shoulders. Should be in a comfortable position to front squat. So the bar is gonna sit behind her shoulder, behind her delt, not on top. So the bar, if you rolled it forward a little bit, this is not gonna be comfortable, gonna be really uncomfortable, unstable. <clears throat> Roll it back so it's behind the delt. If it's elbows are too high and the bar is too far back, it's gonna cut off your circulation. You're gonna, if you're into that kind of thing, then go for it. All right, so now we know where the bar sits, what our grip is gonna be. She's gonna lower the bar, keeping a hook grip. Just from this position, bend your knees. So bend your knees a little bit, yeah, perfect. From there, you're gonna push your hips back away from the bar, just like we did in the snatch. So now there's a little bit of space between you and the bar. From here, without moving your body, you're gonna rock the bar forward and back. One, two, and that's the spot on your thigh you're gonna make contact, okay? So we're gonna do a couple there so you feel where it belongs. One, two, and then on the three, you're gonna make contact, okay? Ready? So one, two, and three. Good, similar to that. So we wanna make sure the bar jumps up at the top. We'll have Kristen demo now. So you can see what it should look like and what you're trying to do. do the same grip. She's gonna stand up, bend her knees, lean over a little bit, keep some space between her and the bar so she can feel the timing. Good. So when she makes contact, the bar kind of jumps off her thigh. Good. Her let yet yeah, one more. She hits the thigh. There's an explosion, and that accelerates the bar a little bit faster than the sleeve, so we can hear a little bit of rattling sound. She also does a good job of keeping it really close here. So when you come back to it, go ahead and grab it. Make contact with the thigh, and then drive the bar upward. <clears throat> so we're just going to do a couple pulls, and once you get the hang of it, we'll go into an actual clean. Ready? One, two. Good, a little bit slower. Okay. That was really good. Just don't think about so far back. All, okay. we, all we're doing here with the moving is getting timing. It's like a metronome, right? You just, mm -hmm. we wanna know where the bar is. We don't, we're not trying to hit ourselves. We're just gonna go one, two, okay. I, I know when the Feel. bar and my body are gonna get close to each other. Let's see. Yeah, one, two, good, one more. A little bit closer, yeah. You don't need to rock it quite as far. One more. So keep it a little closer to you. Yeah, there you go. One, two. Good, you hear it? Yeah. It's good. I hear the thing. That's <laughs> <laughs> All right, next step. Kristen, come back. We're gonna do a clean from here, okay? Because it's just the bar, super light. She's probably not gonna do a lot of moving. She'll do a kind of a clean, maybe a squat with it too, because it's super light. So she's gonna do a couple pulls first and then go into a clean, or just go into a clean. <laughs> she never listens. Two. Good, right? So after the bar leaves her thigh, she keeps it close with her arms, controls the bar with the upper body, and then turns it over. Good. One more. And then we'll talk about one more little thing here. Good, cool. Make sure when you turn it over, not everybody's the same. Not everybody's gonna do this kind of thing where they, they hold the bar tight with their fingers and they rack it with their hand completely around the bar. What we want to try and do is have people do that because ideally that's a better position. It's a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. Kristen's case, she kind of has to open her fingers up to get the bar totally at the top to, to sit on her shoulders. For you, try to keep your fingers all the way around it. If you can't at the top, it's fine to relax your, your fingers a little bit. Open. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go into a clean now. Okay. Bend the knees, a little bit of space. Get an idea where the bar is. Look forward, keep your chin up. Yeah. There you go. One, two, three. Ooh. Good, it's all right, one more. <laughs> Make sure the sequence is connect, catch. Okay. There you go. One, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better? Good. One more, yeah, that was really good. I felt <clears> that <throat> one. Keep it close to your thigh. Make good contact and then move your feet. Good, good, awesome. All right, let's put it down. 
Let's grab those little weights and we'll talk about some other the stuff. The little ones? The black ones. <laughs> so next big point, we, so we, we went over the explosion. We know what we're doing here. We're making contact. The next big point is what we call a hard landing, right? When you do a snatch, when you do a clean, something really important to focus on is moving your feet and making a, a, an explosive, aggressive catch when you, when you receive the weight. If you catch the weight and you're tight, you're more likely to be successful when standing up, right? We emphasize this by calling it a hard landing, right? This is just a combination of us moving our feet aggressively and landing with the same timing, feet and hands at the same time, okay? So Kristen's gonna do a clean, same thing she just did from here, but when she lands, take note of her foot and her elbow landing the same time. Her foot hits the ground, the same time her elbow points at that. Okay. Yeah, so same position. Same drill, just focus on a hard landing. Yes, there you go. I heard that one. Good, one more. Good, cool, put it down. All right. I'm gonna do it? Okay. Meg's turn. My shoes are quieter, okay, just naturally. <laughs> All we care about is the timing. It doesn't okay. have to be loud, it has to be firm. Firm. Okay. Uh, should I take it from the hang? Yeah, okay. same position we just went at. So get set, rock the bar a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of position. Good, make a little more contact. Come up a little higher, so bend your knees. It's right there, that's like top third portion of your thighs okay, where you so want to make contact. To yeah, over. not okay. too far over. There you go. One, two, good, one more. Hit a little harder on your thigh. Okay. One, two, Good. Last one. Let me hear your feet a little more. Okay. It's like you're wearing slippers on the bottom of your shoes. Boom. A little better. Did that you hear good. that one? Yeah, that was good. That was all right. <laughs> all right. Cool. Next thing we're going to do from the ground. Start position. When you get set up, and just like the snatch, if you come over here and look right at the bar, look right where, where Kristen is, she's going to put her feet under the bar. It's not like a deadlift right? Where if you set up like a deadlift, that bar would be like right up on your shin, right? And she would set up, get it like a deadlift. So she's going to bend over and her hips would be really high, right? And she'd even be like leaning back a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. We want to be in a position where we can get from the ground right back to here where we were. Okay. okay? So we want to try and combine those drills. In order to do that, we have to start from the ground the right way. Bar is going to start in front of her foot, or sorry, in front of her shin, right over where that shoe forms a crease where the toes and the foot meet, where that joint meets. Okay. Okay, so line that bar up from the top, right over that point of your shoe, usually like the first lace, then bring your shins down to the bar and bring your hands down to the bar. Same grip we just had from the top. From this position, her shoulders are gonna be like right over the top of her knee, slightly in front of the bar, and then her shin, or sorry, her toe, the bar and her shoulders will be in a line. Make sense? Okay. So if we look at it from the side, all these things are in line. Her shoulders are a little forward because her knees are a little forward, right? Want to show uh, shoulder and knee in line. From here, she's just going to stand back up to that top position, make contact, and then go. So from the ground, good. One more. Easy start. Good. Super light. So it's, <laughs> it might look a little strange with light weights. <clears throat> yeah, I can do this. So get set. Turn your toes out a little bit. Turn your toes out, allow your hips to get in a little better position. And then bring your shins forward over the bar. Yeah. And then drop your hips down so that your knees come forward. So you want to have your knee a little more forward here. Lift your chest and chin up. Right? Now you feel your quads. Yeah. You feel your legs doing the work. Mm -hmm. From there. Slow start. Just stand up to that point and then stop. Yep, now you're in that same place, right? Lower it again. Ah. Same thing, take a second, get set, then go again. Back up, good. All right, so on this weird. one, we're gonna come up, we're gonna pause, then we're gonna do a clean. Okay. So we can get the timing. Up, contact. Kind of. Kind of? One more. <laughs> so maybe not so such a... Yeah, you don't need to pause as long. Think about it. Up, stop, okay. connect. Okay, and I don't have to do the first drill again. Yeah, you don't need to rock it as much. Because okay. it's going to be exactly where we want it. Right. right? Okay. But we, I'm still pausing. We know where that is. Cool. 
chin up. Mm, do one more. <laughs> so go from the ground. All we're gonna do is this, just like she did. You're gonna come up, touch, okay. under. No, no pause. So butt down a little bit, chest up a little more, chin, fo chin up, eyes forward. There you go. That was good. That was better? Do one more, a little Woo! bit faster. Okay, faster. You're Am in I the right places. Pausing here? No, no pause. Okay, no pause. So you're in the right places from here to here, but you stop in between. Right. Go here, touch, catch. Got it. I can do this. A little better. Keep a little bit more space between you and the bar. Okay. At the very top, bring the bar back into your thigh. Lift your chin up, butt down. There you go. One more. We'll do the same thing, but start here. Do one, one, two, connect, then lower the bar to the ground and try again. Okay. Okay, so now you, you'll feel what it's like, where that spot on your leg is you're supposed to contact. Okay. Start from the hang. Yeah, so stand up to the top. Yep, stand all the way up, bend your knees, lower the bar a little bit. Yep, do a clean from here. Make contact first. So you're here, you're just pulling. So one, two, and then okay. contact. Good. Now lower the bar all the way to the ground. Let's try again. Good. Stand up, touch the thigh. That was better. better? Just gotta be a little more aggressive, okay. right? Because you feel it's not jumping off your thigh at the top. You can put it down. Part of that is because right here, you're getting to this point and then you're jumping rather than exploding, making okay. contact, okay? Okay, it's hard. We'll take it again in a second and try one more. I can do it. So stand up to the top again, go through the drill. Let me show you something that might help. So from right here, bend your knees, lean over, push your hips back a little, your hips back. Yeah, so this space, push against my hand harder. One, harder, two, three, like that. Okay. Right? Yeah. Does that feel better? Ooh, that was louder. That was much better. <laughs> Do that again. Okay. Same drill. One, two. Good. Now try from the ground. Okay. Get set. Chin up. Slow start. Slow pull. Mm, almost. Not it. That's all right. I can Take do a it. Second. Push your knees back a little more as you come up. Oh. Put it down, take a sec. Sure. That's all right. It's hard. It takes a little bit of time because a lot of what you're doing is, is this weird tempo of, I'm trying to lift it, and at the same time, I'm trying to position myself to do something with the bar. Right. Right? So be patient with, be patient with learning how to get an explosion. Right? It takes time to figure out that, that rhythm and that timing when you're doing it. You okay. can get it from the top, and the better you get from here, the easier it is to learn to go lower and lower, right? Right. So the first thing you do is like practice this drill and focus on this drill until you get comfortable here. When do you're you making every rep the same from the top, then move down to the knee and to the floor cool. and whatnot. Okay. Right? So always start from the top if yeah. you're a complete beginner. Yeah. If you're totally new, the first place I'd say start is from the top, because that's like the most critical thing. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a good explosion, you don't get a good pop off the, the thigh or from the hip and the snatch, being really, really strong elsewhere is not gonna, you're not gonna make that up, right? Right, because this is what makes you a lot more efficient. Yeah, just like, like my yeah. deadlift doesn't really matter here. <laughs> <laughs> See it. Go from the top. Yeah, yeah, go from the top, bend your knee, a little bit more, yeah, pull it back in. Harder, two. Good, hit the bar a little harder so the bar moves after you connect. Okay. Right there. A little better. Make sure the bar contacts your thigh before you move your feet. Okay. So it's hit, feet. A little better. Go grab those greens. Let's try the greens. The greens? Yeah. Sometimes a little more weight will give you like yeah. a little bit of feedback. So same drill from the top. Okay. Okay, 
Stand up, chin up, eyes forward, a little higher, a little higher. Yeah, there you go. One, two, a little harder. Harder. Yep, a little more aggressive on the contact. Lean over, there you go. Good, one more, a little harder. If you hit it a little higher and a little harder, it'd be really good. <laughs> There's a little bit, not like how you're doing it. Bend over just a little, right there. A little higher, come up a little bit more. There you go. Yeah. One, two. You feel that one? It's yeah. like almost there. Ugh. One more. Stay on the ground, really connect with the bar. Just keep the lats tight, push it back into you. There you go. One. That's better, right? Yeah. One more, one more. This will be better. This will be the best one. <laughs> this will be it. From here? You're here? Try to hit it about three or four times harder. You okay. think you're hitting it hard? Yeah. Go like way overboard. Just like, and then, don't be a... Yeah, hit it here, then move your feet. Okay. Stand up a little more. Yeah, a little bit of space. One, two, hard. Whoa! Whoa, did you one. see it? You feel that one? <laughs> that was better. Okay. One more though. <laughs> My fingers are gonna fall off. <laughs> <laughs> one more. Okay, come on. You don't on. need all your fingers to clean. Just a few it's of them. All right. See it. Right there. Same hardness. Same aggressiveness. Uh, a little better. Yeah. It was good. All right, put Can it down. Can I just be kind of good put at it? it. That wasn't bad though. You felt that one. Yeah. Right? That one that's important is that you get an idea of what it feels like when you actually make power, yeah. when you actually deliver power to the bar. Then it's it hurts. easy. Yeah, initially it feels like you're not used to it, right? Yeah. Same as when you start with weightlifting. You have like no calluses and then eventually you have this kind of rough skin, but it get, you get used to it. So you right. develop a little bit of a numbness, callus, you know, you, resistance to it and you'll be fine. I never knew that you were meant to hit your thighs and not like here. So some people are gonna with, some people have really short arms, like they can't even put their hands in their pockets and they're gonna, they're gonna hit the bar higher. Okay. Everyone's different. She has long arms. Well, not super long arms, but she has a shorter body and longer legs. Mm -hmm. They're going to make contact with the bar lower. Okay. Somebody who has very, very long torso and a shorter, shorter arms, the bars are already high. Okay. So when they stand up here, the bar is right here. Right there. If you have long arms and a little shorter body, you might stand up in the bars right here, your Got knee. It. Okay. It doesn't really matter where you are on your thigh, right? What's important is that when you connect, you're in the right position right? That you're connecting and that you're using your legs and hips to extend rather than bending the arms to try and pull it up, right? Got it. Cool. Setting up for the front squat. Yeah. For the clean, the way you're going to catch the bar of Kristen clean it. <clears throat> Ideally, best place to have the bar is behind your delts. Good. So she's going to stand here. Bar sits back behind your delts, closer to her neck, not so far back that she, you know, passes out and not on top of the delt where the skin can move around, the bar is not stable. So if she rolls it forward, not gonna be stable. If her elbows are low, bar can slide down her chest, not, not good. If her elbow's too high, could pass out. So elbows up and out a little bit, bar sits behind the delt, fingers are as much as you can get them around the bar. Kristen's are a little bit tight here, so she puts her fingertips around the bar. And ideally, if you can get your whole hand, it would be best, but Fingertips is, is fine. Just whatever you can get around the bar is the best thing to do. From there, she's going to set up her body weight in the middle of her foot, set her hips where they belong, then let her knees bend and squat down all the way, keeping her legs in front of her, keeping her knees over her feet, using her legs, trying to stay as upright as possible and maintain the front position. Good. Cool. All right. I can do this one. I've seen you front squat. The, the getting it up there is like maybe a little different. But... Well, let's see. Let's see what you've learned from the drills. All right. That was good, right? So, el yeah. <laughs> Bar behind the shoulders. Elbow is not super high. Keep them a little bit down. There you go. Keep your chest up. There you go. Put your weight in the middle of your foot. Let your knees bend and sit straight down. Good. Keep your knee over your toe and push from the ground. Good. Perfect. So that's the first step for the clean, learning how to front squat, getting set like this. When you catch a clean, you always want to catch it up high, back behind your delt. If it lands way down here on your shoulder, like front, it's going to be unstable and it's also not safe. Right. Okay.
Cool. Once you've cleaned it, bar sitting on your shoulder. We talked about that position in the last video. The bar sits back behind your shoulders. Step your feet wider. When she cleans, she's going to stand up from the clean and ideally bring her feet in a little bit. You want your feet under your hips. Okay. The bar is going to sit top of the shoulder. Your body weight is going to be directly under the bar, which is right in front of your shin. Try not to put all your weight on your heel or all the way on your toes. From here, she's going to dip drive and do a jerk. Just do a jerk. Good. When she lands, we want to land with the bar over the head, back behind the ears. Her hands and elbows are going to be turned inside here, this way, internally rotated. This puts the bar behind her head a little bit further and is much more stable because her upper back is doing the work. In the split position, come a little higher. The split position, her shin is going to be perpendicular to the floor. So this is not going to, the knee is not going to come much more forward than the front of her shin here. And then her hips are going to be as high as she can keep them staying rigid. Recover. And put it down. All right. So once you've cleaned the weight, Meg is just going to gracefully muscle this bar to her shoulders. Do you like that? Okay. Oh. <laughs> One way to do it. All right. <laughs> I tried to get it as far away from my body That's, uh, as possible. Three reds in the deadlift right now. Okay. Once you get the bar set on your shoulders, we're going to wrap our fingers as best we can around the bar. You're going to bring your feet in under you a little bit. Make sure they're directly under your hips. Not super close, but under your hip is where it's comfortable. Toes are going to be pointed out. Good. You're going to lock your knees before you start and you're bringing your body weight forward onto the middle of your foot right here. So all the pressure of your foot and the bar should be right in the middle there. From there, we're just going to dip down and then stand back up. When you dip, you should feel the pressure across your thighs and a little bit in your hips, mm -hmm. not way back on your back or your, or your, just your butt. Okay. Great. Good. That's the dip. Put it down. Now we know where we're starting. Okay. okay? We'll stand here, feet under our hips, just like we did in the jerk. We're going to rise up onto our toes and from there land in a split. Whatever foot moves forward is the foot you're going to jerk with. Right. Doesn't matter which one goes forward. It's, it's totally up to you. The one that naturally goes forward in this exercise is the one I would recommend starting with. Okay. okay? So do a couple, five, six reps. Don't think about what foot goes forward. Just think about splitting. Good. If you find that you're doing one than the other, maybe pick one, try that a few times. And if that's still comfortable, stay with it. Okay. If you're going back and forth or whatever, this way or that way, not super important. Just find the one that's most comfortable. Okay. So when we split, pause in the split again, we're going to land up on our toes, hold from there, shins vertical. So this is perpendicular. That one back toe is pointed in a little. That's perfect. Right there. From there, push up with your hips. Okay. So she's going to try and lift her hips a little higher. There you go. This is way more stable. If your hips are pushing upward rather than like a lunge where you're down, right? If you're low like that, you're going to get under the bar lower, but you're not going to be strong. So the bar is going to crush you again. Okay. okay. One more. We're going to do another split. So we rise up onto our toes. Then we split. Catch it with hips high. There you go. Catch it with hips Last high. one. So we go two things we're thinking about split and high hips. Ready? Split high hips. Good. Last one. Good. Hold on. I can be a little higher. That's right. I think. Good. Good, good, good. Third drill before we jerk. You're going to clean it to your shoulders. From here, we're going to do a, a jump into split. So we're not going to move the bar. We're going to do what we just did without the bar, but with the bar. Still in the front rack. Still in the front rack. So okay. when you land, you're going to be in this position like a front lunge. Okay. Okay. Back up. So up onto the toes and then split. Good. Now from here, you're going to press the bar 10 times. So when you press, we want to push up and have the bar behind our head, elbows turned out, hips high. There you go. Bring it back down. Good. One more, two more. So what we're doing here is practicing the split. We're getting practice because we're sitting in this position. It's not super comfortable, but you're getting stronger here and you're learning where the bar goes here. What it's going to feel like when you land is just like this. Okay. Then bring it back down. Now put it down. 
We can combine all three of those. So Chris, don't come out just the bar. So we're gonna dip. We're gonna drive to our toes. So pause at your toes. So dip down all the way up to your toes from here. The bar is gonna leave our chest and then we're gonna land in that split, but with the bar overhead. Good. One more, do a regular speed jerk. So dip, drive, catch. Good. The order is legs move the bar, your arms move your body. So we don't wanna drive a little bit and then press it out, do that. So she just dips a little bit and then presses the rest of the way, right? Not good. No pressing with the arms early. Legs, arms, cool. All right, let's try it. It seems so easy, but it's not. It's Everything really she does makes it seem easy. <laughs> it's so complicated, like so many different things just to get the bar overhead. It's usually like well, I lay down when I... <laughs> <laughs> I lay down. Okay. Can I start from the hip? Yeah. Do a start. We'll do a little clean. Oh, yeah. Good. Get set. Stand up, lock, lock legs. There you go. Great. We're going to dip, drive up, and then land in the split. Good. Hold it. There you go, hips high, then recover. So bring your feet together, then bring the bar down. Then bring the bar yeah. down. Yeah, one more. So stand up straight, bend your knees. That's all right. Good, turn your hands. So every time you land in the split, we're gonna freeze here and then make our position perfect, then we recover. Okay. Right, and then recover. Front foot, then back foot. There you go, one more. Just like that. Smooth dip. Front foot, hips high. Yeah, elbows out. There you go. Last one. So get set. Bring these down a little bit. Yeah. Bring your body weight to the middle of your foot. Point your toes out a little bit. There you go. Drive with the legs, then split with the hands. Front foot back. Sorry, front or hips up higher. Yeah. Turn these in more. There you go. Like this or like this? Like that. So your elbows, we want our elbows, we don't want our elbows like this. We want our elbows this way. Okay. Right? Good. Good. Last one. This one's for Instagram. I need it. I need a shout out. Well, that was really good. Hips high, push the bar up. Nice. Put it down. All right, let's try, do a whole clean and jerk with the greens. With the bar or with the? With the greens. Damn. <laughs> we'll go from the ground. Okay. If you can do it perfectly, do that. <laughs> if not, just do what you can do. <laughs> all, all right. right. All right. So get set. Yep. All the things we learned. Butt down, shoulders up, chin up. Can I start over? No. Okay. Do the extra, do it, the whole thing, and then we'll do it again. So lock your legs. Yeah, legs straight. Middle of your foot. Drive first. Hold. Yeah. Push back. That was a good jerk. One more. One more from the ground. Okay. I can do the clean way better. I know I can. That was good. Just come up. Contact here. Yeah. So up, contact. Okay. Okay. You got to push the bar back with your lat, right? Yeah, push it back to your thigh. Ditch it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because I'm like holding <laughs> on to it. See it, Meg. So get set, yeah? Right to your thigh. Ooh, this is a little better. Get set, so elbows down a little bit. Body weight in the middle of your foot. There you go. Drive, then catch in the split. Push it back, yeah. One more. That one rolled off your chest. Rolled a little it rolled forward. down when you dipped, yeah. Last one. So get set. Chin up, look forward. There you go. Elbows down a little bit. Chest up.
That one I'm drove a little forward too. So just for anything, when you're sitting here, when you're ready to jerk uh -huh. and the bar's on your shoulder, when you're dipping, you're dropping this down and coming forward. Think about dipping, but pushing back on the bar as you dip, right? So you dip down, the bar has to still stay back on your shoulder. So I'm like still. You're kind of dipping. And when you dip, you go down and then you're like this and the bar comes forward off your shoulder. Okay. And then it's into your hands. You're like putting it in your hands and driving with your arms. Relax the arms. Drive with my legs. Drive, then reach. I can do it. Good. Much better. Push your hips on. That was good. Yeah. The jerk was better. That was way better, yeah. That was pretty solid. I felt it. Nice job. Cool. Make sure you like the video. If you enjoy this content and you want to see more videos with Meg squats, go ahead and comment down below what you think. If you have any questions on weightlifting that maybe we can answer or have future video topics, make sure to leave those questions below and we'll try to get your questions answered because that's what we do here at JTS. We make you stronger. <laughs> yeah, that's way better than when I do it. <laughs> get expert program design, video analysis, and guidance for powerlifting and weightlifting, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced athlete through Team Juggernaut's online coaching. Click learn more to sign up.